Okay, that's what's on your mind. Let's get right into it. All right. Um, I've been watching a lot of sports lately with the NBA Finals, and, and one of the things okay. is there's this commercial they show all the time. Okay. And it's for Zoom, which is a, an iPod type. It's Microsoft's iPod, right? Kind of thing. I, I don't know that for sure. It is. That's right. Okay. So they show these commercials, and they're pretty cool commercials, actually. It's like a... It's showing like record. It looks like a big table full of piles of records. And somebody like a record flip, store. Yeah, it's like somebody flipping through the records, uh-huh. and you see like the titles. So it's a couple current records, like the Rick Ross album, you know, some other album, I don't know, some like current band the kids like. And uh, and then they like as they keep flipping through, them, then it turns into like they're like fake album covers that say things. So it's like get all, you know, you flip to the next one's like the music you want, you know, and it's uh-huh. so that you know there's a message. So like the first time I saw it, I didn't quite get it, but. Uh, you know, the music's good, the camera's like panning around, changing, real cool. So it's That's kind of just like a fun, artsy yeah, type and, thing. Yeah, and that I can respect. Here's where it gets interesting. Spellbinding. Yes. The way they show these commercials is they always show like a 30 second one, and then there's a different commercial, like for whatever else. And then it goes back to the Zoom commercial for like a 15 second little short one. Mm. Always. It's never just the 30 second one or the 15 second one. It's always both of them together in that order with a random commercial between them. I like that. That's that's something that I you think don't it's see interesting, but it's kind of annoying. I bet. Like, but, but guess what? What are we talking about? That commercial. But we're also possibly giving it the nose dive. <laughs> God, I'm nose dive. <laughs> but I, I mean, it just it just kind of bothers me. It's like, yeah, look, you get 30 seconds. I don't want to see the same commercial twice grow up again. Because if it's like, mm. I've already seen this commercial, but you've already seen it twice, I mean, it just, it wears on you. Especially when they're showing like every single brand, yeah. it's always both of them. Yeah, that, that's a lot. Almost a minute of the same brand is kind of overloading, but. But at the same time, I guess there's not really that many other commercials that do that, so the fact that they're able yeah. to do that says It's very lot. expensive to do that. I can imagine. So TV is expensive anyway. I mean, you think they get to choose the commercial that's in the middle of them? Um, no. They, they don't get to choose that. They can the network chooses that, but they they have I, I believe they have some sort of say in what runs between them. But I think it's up to the the network has to sh- tell them beforehand, yeah. and then they can decide. But otherwise, it's more or less random. Yeah, it's pretty much. Thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So anyway, um, you know the rest of their campaign is pretty good too. I guess they have a cool magazine ad that you know I've seen. And so I mean, it's definitely. It's working. It's hitting you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you see it a bunch of places too. I mean, they're definitely making a push. Making a push.